Hello, my name is Matt Sherwood. I am a technology teacher of junior high students. Um, this is for a lesson I'm teaching my students on understanding the concept of layers and layering in advanced photo editing. Now this is using a free program called paint.net. As you can see, I have this photo open consisting of multiple layers. Actually, I have five in this photo, although I'm not using all of them. Now what I want to show is that the, the base behind this actual project, the background, is simply this picture of a sunset. What I've done is I've taken five different pictures and layered them on top of this sunset picture. You could see that there's also a picture of a flower. And uh, I've actually put several dis different flowers in there to demonstrate how layers can be turned on and off sometimes to decide which images to use. And it's kind of a matter of taste here. I think I like the rose the best, so I wouldn't want both of them. So I'm going to turn off the blue flower, turn back on the rose, and you can see that's what I'm left with. Now a couple important things to remember when you're working with layers is one, yes you can turn them on and off, but sometimes you develop a, a whole bunch of layers that you don't actually need. So if you want, you can actually click on the X and it'll remove a layer from your project, which can greatly simplify what you're looking at if you have a lot of layers. It's not unusual in a project to have 20 layers all put together and to rearrange them in the ways that you need to use them. Now, uh, I might point out right now on the layers window that you can add a new layer which will be transparent and blank by clicking on this plus sign button and it'll be up here. Uh, if you want to duplicate a layer, like for instance if I wanted two roses, I could click on the rose layer and then choose the duplicate layer button and you can see now there's a red rose 2 layer here and another one there. And then also uh, worth pointing out is if I want to combine layers, let's say I want this red rose to be um, stuck to the layer with the girl, I can merge that layer down and now that red rose is actually part of the layer with the picture on. And I can show this to you by turning off the other layers and that red rose is still in place on the side of the girl. Now it's important to point out if I go to the background layer it's the only totally solid layer. You can tell these other layers are partially transparent because they have that checkerboard symbol in the background which doesn't actually produce checkerboards when you print it. It actually just is transparent. So if I move up the bottom layer you can see it moved up in the list but everything disappeared uh, except for that rose which is because that rose layer is above the background layer. And then the last choice is to click on the la property layers. When you do that you have some choices to either make the layer visible or to make it partially visible by changing the amount of opacity. And you can see now that that sort of artistically blends those layers together. And then there's also modes you can do so for instance, depending on what your picture is, you can uh, lighten it, darken it, multiply it, and do some different effects on it, which I'm not really going to get into right now. So that's basically what you need to understand about layers.